let's get uh, 10k likes on this video um, and let's get you know 1.8 million subscribers uh, whenever so guys in this video we're gonna be showcasing rail C's combat this is the second teaser there's gonna be one more teaser before the full-on movie but this combat system is very and is literally innovation it's not the stiff combat system you see in almost every anime game these days we have four to five ammo to kick them up you some no this is something else this 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 has so much systems to it and uh let, let me stop talking let's just let me show you guys in rail C's we have air ladder and combat now air ladder and combat is combat that's made in the air it's not your usual air combos that you see in most anime games right where you can just go and you kick them up in the air uh, if you played the devil may cry games uh we really inspired this combat based on air laddering for now we're gonna show you like a basic air laddering com uh combo now i can follow off with another combo with that now you guys notice how i have a x and q now x is my evade uh and q is my parry but i want to show you guys uh the other parry system all right so punch me so you have a parry when you block and click now this parry system we built all the system in we're not adding it later in the game like we did shindo we learned a lot from shindo and um with our lessons learned in shindo we were able to build a really solid combat system from the ground up and include everything that is needed in the game uh you know when we design it and it's not like we're adding things over time like how we added an air combat system in shindo now um i want to show you guys now if you don't block ahead of time you there's an evade system so m1 me now you can just m uh, evade with the x now the evade uh bills uh by getting hit and it builds over time as well now uh, aside from the evade there is a parry so punch me no i parry and then i can combat oh uh, i want to show you the fist clashing now before i even show you any of this i want to okay ready let's punch at the same time ready set go oh i got the fist off all right ready set go yeah so this depends on your camera turning as well so it's all on turning your camera base so it's all skill based in that way now we created an armor system now like it's like hyper armor there's stargate armor there's m1 priority armor there's hyper armor strong armor and invulnerable armor we're gonna show you the m1 priority armor so knock me into the wall now you're gonna see my character glow blue right now i'm gonna try to m1 now because they have the m1 priority armor you can't just knock someone into a wall over and over with abilities and keep comboing off them right they're gonna have the m1 priority armor m1 speed now uh here is the speed of an m1 uh, this is not fast that is not fast i don't know why people are saying it's fast it's not fast the dagger is a light weapon a katana is a medium weapon and the sword on my back is a heavy weapon basically dark blade now uh obviously dark blade's gonna have heavy m1s and it's gonna be a lot slower than a dagger um but um there is a difference so i'm gonna show you the m1 speed so this is the m1 speed of the dark blade now we're gonna just clash a little bit ready set go for example my m1 speed is a little slower than his so he's gonna get his off first now you're wondering why would anyone use a heavy blade now heavy blades actually have a longer uh a a farther q spec right it travels farther so there is q spec range right for example you see how far that is now i'm gonna just take off my um uh, my thing this is the m1 q spec now um this is a combat ability q spec for example q specs have different ranges In this m1 system you, you start with five m1s two three four five as you saw you can air combo without punching someone let me show you guys that's a basic air combo right there so there's three different ways to do air combos in this game and they're, they're gonna matter when you have fine style sword sword abilities and devil fruits or wherever i mean god fruits then avoid the copyright so i'm gonna show you the first um air combo one two one two three now that's just a push away so depending on the type of air combo you do it's gonna really depend on the type of combo you want to pull off as well so one two three kick them up this is the four slam now the last one is you kick the player into the air one two three four you really want to get familiar with how to use this it's really easy and simple to do 
And as you saw, I combo laddered and ascended as well. All right, now, uh, M1, M1 combo me in my air. So if you're wondering, you can actually uh, uh, parry each other in the air. Ready? So air combo me. And then you can evade down, it's, uh, you know, for example. Now, you're wondering how it would be possible to do this. Now, now the base combat actually is airlock. So, uh, you can, like, the combat system is made for, like, air. So, you see how you're, you're, you're like, stationed in the air and you travel in the air when you M1. Do double jump and M1. That's the air tilt. That's going to kick someone into the air. As you saw with the fourth one. Oh, wait, that's your third one. That's your third one. One, two, three, four. Kick them up. Now this is the air tilt right here. That's how you're gonna add combo extend with the fort hit. And on top of that, you got the double jump and Q, which is the down tilt. It's also in a block breaker as well. And it also puts you in M1 priority. All right, block break me. Now you don't start with Rokushiki or black leg. And just for information purposes, Gekko has uh, eight jumps until you fall down. I'll show you the max distance. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you can air combat. So that's the max distance. And now you can't press space afterwards, so you can't like abuse the system. It once you fall down, you're you're ground locked again. So, and then you know you can get below up and find the air. That is all the sneak peek you're getting uh, until next time. Now we're going to show you a sneak peek of the customization. Now we're going to show you a sneak peek of the menu. Let me show you the menu now. All right, so you got the avatar. This is the inventory system, and then you guys see crafting recipes. Yes, uh, the game's gonna have a crafting system. It's gonna. This game is adventure, uh, discovery, uh, exploration, and survival type kind of survival base. All right, then you get your avatar stats. Uh, you got the controls, uh, and last but not least, we're gonna show you a sneak peek of looting. Thank you guys for watching as you see um the combat sneak it, it was amazing whatever you think it is 
But the trees, the footsteps, the, everything's being recorded right now to be more optimized. We're, we're focusing a lot on optimization and gameplay. So uh, see you guys in the next video.